Welcome back to a brand new Coffee Tech Break with Jan. Good to see you back on my channel again. Eh? Today I got another great video because I want to take you through a brand new version of the MTR on Android. Just released, brand new version, update one uh, of 2023, as you see right here. There's a lot of new features and functions in there and I will walk that through in this video. Now, before we get started eh, and dive into the details, which of course everybody is waiting for, eh, let me uh, take you through some guidelines. Eh? So the brand new Teams Up version, eh, MTR on Android, it's available on all Studio X devices. So X30, X50, X70, and the G7500. Eh? So you got the ability to Push that out to your devices. I think it is a really nice update. There's some great enhancements in there, which uh, yeah, customers were really waiting for. So very enthusiastic. But you need to push it out through Teams Admin Center. And so during this video, I will guide you step by step how you can, where you can find it, and how you can push it through Teams Admin Center. I think this is uh, very good to know. And of course, when uh, Poly releases a new major release. Uh, it will probably embed it at some point of time. Eh? But as I said also in my earlier videos, eh, independent of the Poly OS server uh, software, eh, you can always push out a new application. And now Microsoft brought out a brand new version with all sorts of new features, eh, which I think are very, very interesting for customers to, uh, to try them out uh, and, uh, and get started with it. Now, I don't want to hold you off anymore. Eh? Let me show you in Teams Admin Center where you can find this software. All right, welcome in my Teams Admin Center demo portal. Eh? So here you can find all your devices, your MTR on Windows devices and your MTR on Android devices. Now, let me show you and guide you where you can find those software updates. Eh? Just uh, quickly before I show you all those new features in the uh, Teams Room on Android. All right, so you click here under devices on Teams Room on Android, and there you can find under Teams Room Android tab, you can find your devices. So as you can see, I got X30s, I got here a G7500, and these are under the Teams Room Android. Now your touch consoles, so the control panels at the table are under touch console. So that is the TC8, but you gotta make sure that if you upgrade those devices, that you upgrade the Studio X eh, through the Teams Room Android tab, and you upgrade under touch consoles your TC8. That's very, very important. That to stay in sync and to get all those new features, not only on the TV UI, but also on the TC8, of course. Now, let me guide you a little bit through the update. So what you will see is health status, it says non-urgent. And so it gives you a message here that there is an update available. So let me click on it. And what you will see that there are updates available and let me open it up to give you some guidance here. Now, what it says is that, and I installed already through Polylense the 4.0, but in Teams Admin Center, you still find a 3.14 version. And so soon it will also have 4.0, uh, but as you can see, it's still here 3.14. Now, if you want to upgrade, I recommend to use Polylense they can push a 4.0 release. But anyhow, you see here also you below an update on the Teams app. And this is the new, the brand new Teams app version, which you're able to push out. I think really nice. And you can just separately click that, update now. And if you don't touch control panel, it will upgrade within five to 10 minutes. It should be able to update. Now you do the same trick on your touch consoles. So you go to the touch consoles, you go to the software update and you push it out. All right, welcome into my MTR on Android Coffee Tech room. And so here I can show you the whole user experience as well as on the TV UI and also here below on the TC8. So you can see the exact experience from both ends. And I think after this update, the last update, what is also a very nice one is that you can now use a touch screen and use it in combination with the control panel at the table. So you can have both at the same time, which was not possible before. 
Uh, there you always, if you pair the TC8, then it was always moved all the controls to the TC8 and you couldn't do anything anymore with touch. That's not the case anymore. Uh, so you got now great flexibility here for your MTR on Android rooms. Now, let me look at the first feature on the Microsoft website, on the release notes, that I will show you right here into my demo room. And we'll walk them through step by step. All right, so let me walk them through from the list so I can show you them. So the first one I want to show you is join with a meeting ID. And this is available with all Microsoft Teams room licenses. The join with the meeting ID really likes, it feels a little bit like back to the old days eh, where we had this meet me on the bridge concept and uh, you had virtual meeting rooms and people were able to join very easily. And it, it felt very comfortable and it was very successful that time. And it's good to see that back now because you don't know always the email address of those meeting rooms. And when you walk in, how can you forward and invite? Uh, so there's some hurdles at that point. And what, with the meeting ID, you can just look that up in your invite. You punch the meeting ID, you punch the password, and you're able to join the meeting. So how does this look like on the MTR on Android? Uh, so on the TV UI, what you see here, it's shown on the big screen. Uh, so you got this, uh, this available there as a manual item, which you see right here. Join with a meeting ID. On the TC8, here below, it's hidden here under more. So if I click on more, again, what you see there is join with a meeting ID here on the left below side. Now, let me just quickly show you that experience. So you click on join with ID. This will ask you for the meeting ID and the password. So let me do that. All right, so just meeting ID, passcode. We got now ready to join the meeting and that's really it. And then we click on join and here you go. That's it. So it's really easy to just join without uh, having a meeting invite. Just a matter of, uh, yeah, just put in all the information which you grab again from your Outlook and uh, from your uh, Teams client and you got the ability to join. The next feature, which I wanted to show you is single tap ad hoc meeting. So you should just start a meeting. This will generate a new meeting ID and all the meeting details. And then you can invite other participants to join. All right, back into my Coffee Tech demo room where you can find it. So you see here on the TV UI on the left hand, the top, you can see there the meet button as you see right here and below on the tc8 you've also got the meet button now this experience is now different in the past on mtr on android when you start and press that meet button you first needed to invite somebody but what it will do now it will just initiate a meeting it will just start a meeting and generate all the information let me do this now on the tv ui and start a meeting here you go so we're now started the meeting very easily. You can see here on the TC8, it invites people to join. So you can invite other participants there. And also on the TV UI, you got now add participant, but also you see all the information there. Uh, so you got it all available. You can send a photo to somebody to join, etc. But the meeting is already started. Uh, so it's a different experience, but it now matches with the MTR on Windows. Now the next feature, which is also, I think, a really exciting one, is the room extension available to pro licenses only. Normally you had to walk out of the room. And so now you extend, you can extend your room reservation by just doing that on the TC8, on the touch panel. So let me show you that. So let me show you where you can find that room reservation extension option. And so it's disabled by default, eh? so you don't see this visible when you are in a meeting. So let me set up a meeting. All right, I'm in a brand new meeting now. And what you will see on the TC8 here below, the option is not available to extend it. It should become available under the dots. And as you can see, it's not available now. So first you need to enable it. So where can you do that? You go into more. Then you go into settings, then you go into device settings and admin settings. We log in to get further details. Then we go to Teams admin center settings, we go to meetings. 
and all the way below you go you will find the extent room reservation as you see right here so you need to turn that on to make that feature available now let me go back into the meeting all right if i now click on the three dots all the way below you can see now here the option extend reservation so if there is a meeting scheduled you can extend it to 15 20 30 40 uh, minutes and you've got to extend so you don't have to walk out well i think it's always good to have some exercises eh? but i know some people are in really important meetings and then walking out of the room all the time uh, is not really uh, not really an option all right the next feature which i wanted to show you is the front row layout so not in the phase one or phase two anymore this is the full-blown front row layout and as you can see it's available with standard premium and pro lice so let me show you that in the demo room now to show you front row it's just a layout uh, you need to be in a meeting of course so let me join a meeting here from the device all right we're now in the meeting so let me show you where you can find the front row option so you go here all the way below to the layout setting by default it's set to gallery but now you can change this up to front row and also see here the chat option as you can see there's also a chat option now available here the tc8 which you can turn on and off now if I use the front row layout, what you will see is the chat will be gone eh? because the chat is already integrated. As you see here on the left side, the chat is already integrated on the screen. And so you were able to, to see that there. Now, you can also make front row your default layout. So let me show you where you can find that. So you need to go into more, you need to go into settings, you go into device settings admin settings you log in now we go to teams admin center we go to meetings and then all the way below you find their default to front row so if you want to have default as a front row uh, layout you got the ability to do that right here the next option is the meeting chat with the large gallery together mode etc so you can turn now the chat on and off and uh, i showed you that earlier but let me quickly show you that feature in the coffee tech demo room just let me show you that quickly so again you go to layouts as you see right here and here you can toggle the chat on and off and uh, you'll also see that on the big screen that the chat on the right side uh, on the tv ui you see the chat there showing up really nice so just be able to toggle that also on and off the next feature which i wanted to show you brand new in the teams app is the automatic sharing and this one is really appreciated because if you connect something through the hdmi ingest it usually prompts automatically on the big screen and now you're able to change that so as a user if you want to share something you can do that then many so you're able to turn it off so let me show you that feature so let me log into the admin portal eh, of the Teams app and let me show you where you can find that automatic HDMI share on and off. So you go under the settings, you log in again here, then we go to the Teams app settings, we go to general and then all the way here below, you can see here you got that automatically share to the room display all the way below. So here you can toggle it on and off. Can imagine you got, for example, a Barco connected or you got a PC connected there, which wakes up if somebody moves the mouse and eh? you don't want to interrupt meetings. Eh? So now you got the ability to turn that automatically share off. Really powerful. Now, the next feature which I wanted to show you, which is in line with that other feature, is the HDMI audio share. This was a big request by a lot of customers eh? where they wanted to share not only PowerPoint presentation, but also maybe share a video with some audio. And it is also available now. So not only locally, but you can also share this now into the meeting. And it is available with all Microsoft Teams room license. So let me show you that quickly. So here below you see the Teams admin centers uh, settings. Uh, so we go to general again. And here you go. You can find all the way below here the enable content sharing, including audio. And here you can toggle that on and off. So if you don't want to, and you can turn it off. If you want to share audio in a meeting room, you got the ability to do that now. 
Another brand new feature in the latest Teams app is the collaborative annotation support. And that means if somebody shares something remotely, you have the ability to annotate on top of it. But also other participants can annotate on top of it. So I think a really powerful tool for people working remotely or working anywhere. So let me show you that in the Coffee Tech demo room. So let me show you this collaborative annotation support. And so let me jump into a meeting again. All right, we're now in a meeting. So to show you collaborative annotation support, somebody remotely and need to share a picture or something uh, to, to show you that functionality. So I'll ask a remote participant now to share the screen. All right, remote participants now share the screen and you click on annotation. So on the top, in the Teams app client, when you share something, you get collaboration button. It's like a pencil. If you click on that, collaboration will start. And what does that mean? Well, the remote participant can just, for example, draw something and eh, because maybe they don't like the chairs. In the meeting room, if you got a touch screen, you have similar functionality. So I just grab a pen and let me take, for example, the purple color. And for example, I don't like that door. And as you can see, both of us, multiple persons can collaborate and annotate on top of this picture. And so I think that's a very powerful feature, which is, is, uh, which is now available in this latest Teams app. Now, and the last feature which I wanted to show you quickly is the Teams Premium enabled watermark during meetings. And this is available with all Teams room licenses. So I don't have that here enabled, there, but just let me quickly show you a picture. What is happening when you got the watermark enabled? So you will see your email address on top of the presentation and this will be everywhere. So what does that mean? Well, if I create photos of it or screenshots with my phone, it's got my email address injected in all those content pictures. And so I think this is really important. As I said, it's a premium feature, but it's available now in uh, Teams. All right, and that's it. I think I did a great job to keep it within one or two coffees today. Yeah? So hopefully you uh, enjoyed it and it gives you some new insights uh, for your uh, Teams room on, uh, on Android. As you can see, Android is really catching up with Teams room windows eh? i think we're only missing multiple cameras content camera and custom background but yeah i would say just keep an eye uh, on the microsoft public roadmap and of course keep an eye on my channel eh? and i'll always keep you uh, keep you updated if you got any questions or comments and eh, just uh, put them under the video and if you like this type of video eh, i would recommend to subscribe to my channel because there's a lot of new videos coming up so I will keep you updated on the latest and greatest. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you in the next video.